Markdown is one of the most ubiquitous file formats around at the moment for writing technical documentation. And honestly, it's easy to see why. It's a simple and uncomplicated file format. It can mark up a range of common HTML elements, including headers, paragraphs, links, code, lists, and tables. It's trivially easy to get started with. I mean, all you'd need are either GitHub or Daring Fireball's Markdown documentation, or this Markdown guide here, you can see at markdownguide.org. And as one last point, Markdown's supported by a significant number of tools and services, one of the most notable being GitHub. However, it may not be the long-term choice for your technical documentation. So when it's time to change, you need to be able to migrate away to a more feature rich format, such as something like restructured text or my personal favorite ASCII doc. So in this short video, I'm going to show you how to convert Markdown to ASCII doc using one of my favorite tools, which is Pandoc. Self-described as a general markup converter, Pandoc converts content from one markup format to another. It can read and write numerous formats, including Markdown, Common Mark, GitHub flavored Markdown, Multi Markdown, and subsets of Textile, Restructured Text, HTML, LaText, MediaWiki Markup, DocBook, EPUB, ODT, Word DocX, HTML5, and LaText. And that's just a small section of it. So arguably, whilst it's universal, so it's not specific from moving from Markdown to ASCII doc, it's not a bad start. And now let's see how to use Pandoc to migrate a reasonably sort of sophisticated Markdown file to ASCII doc. So we're going to use Vim, and I'll say docs, the, because I know the file that's in here, branching workflow. Now you can see here that at the top, we've, we've got a standard Markdown header. Here we've got an image link. Here we've got some an item that's italicized, we've got some bolding, we've got a list with inline code, we've got some links there. If we scroll down, we've got a link, um, another link, and a bit more formatting and so forth. So it's not it's not huge, but it's sort of big enough to, to present a kind of meaningful example. So we'll quit out of that and then all right, start by calling Pandoc, and we'll say that I want to have ATX headers. Just briefly, if you're not familiar, uh, an ATX header is the markdown style where a header is preceded by one or more asterisks. So I want that style for the migrated ASCII doc document instead of what's called a set text style, which has uh, where every header is sort of underlined by a repeating character such as a hyphen, an, an equal sign, a caret, and so forth personal preference, you might like it the other way. Then I like a little bit of verbose output just in case something goes wrong. I then want to specify the type of document to be created, which is an ASCII doc file. I'll then give it the file that I want to migrate, which is the branching workflow.md. We'll then give it the file to output to or to write to. So we'll put it in the same directory and we'll call it the branching workflow.adoc because I like the adoc extension and then we'll run it. Now since it wasn't a particularly big document, it's done it quite quickly. So let's use Vim again and let's have a look at the converted file. You can see here it's migrated the markdown file to ASCII doc format and it's put in specific anchors. I don't necessarily like that but I'm not aware of an option with Pandoc to not do that. Uh, we've got the ASCII doc style ATX headers, so an equal sign for the top level header instead of a hash. It's used the ASCII doc style image directive. Uh, you can see then links, bolding is the same as in Markdown, italics is the same, lists, it has a different uh, list formatter. Instead of a hyphen, it's got an asterisk. Uh, we've got some more headers coming down here, a bit more formatting and so forth. Now, the one thing that you probably notice between ASCII doc, sorry, between the original markdown and the ASCII doc form is that it has wrapped 
um, at around about, I think it's about 80 characters, sorry, 70, roughly 70, 72 characters, the sentences in a, in a paragraph. Personally, I'm not a big fan of that um, because I sort of feel it's like arbitrary. Yes, it works for a whole lot of sort of uh, terminal command line tools, but from a maintenance perspective for writing, I don't really like it and I realize I have left an option out. So we're going to reformat it and this time I'm going to disable wrapping by saying wrap equals none. Now if you do like that kind of wrapping, please feel free to leave it as is. I just don't, so I'm going to disable it. And we'll use Vim again and look at it. And now you can see that, that it hasn't arbitrarily wrapped each uh, line to be around about 70 or 72 characters. And that in a short nutshell, is how to use Pandoc to migrate a Markdown file to ASCII doc. Have a look at the Pandoc documentation to see all the other formats. Perhaps you want to go to restructured text, and then you can adjust the commands or the command example that I've used accordingly. Put in more options, experiment with other options, and then you're well on the way to moving all of your existing Markdown technical documentation to a richer, more fuller featured file format that will last you well into the future. And that's a wrap for how to use Pandoc to convert Markdown to another format such as ASCII doc or restructured text. If you like what you saw, please give it a like, thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will see you in a future video.